What's going on guys? Adam Snyder here with The Homemade Entrepreneur and today I want to show you how to start a full-time eBay business. Now the reason why I'm even shooting this video is because I was asked recently if I lost it all, I didn't have much money, what would I do? Now there's a lot of options I have. I can get an affiliate marketing, do YouTube, I can do this and that, but what I want to talk to you guys about today is eBay. Starting on eBay, starting small, starting with you know $5 or $10 of an investment and turning that into $1,000 plus. It is possible, you can do it, but you have to do it right. Now, let me show you a product. This is an item I actually picked up a couple days ago. This right here, it's a, it's a Wacom bamboo tablet. It's a CTH670. The reason why I'm showing you this is because I picked this up for $2.99, okay, at Goodwill. The reason why I want to show you this is because things like this can take you from $5 to $50, and then you take that $50 and turn it into two or $300. It happens all the time, but you have to know what to buy. Now, I'll put a link to a, a guide I have down in the description box below. It's 40 profitable uh, products every resale should know. Go check it out, it's a $10 guide. If you don't know what to buy, I highly recommend that. Now, here's the reason why I wanna you know, just mention this, is because things like this show up all the time. I find these all the time at thrift stores and, and yard sales and garage sales. I think the reason why is because most people don't understand what this is and they think it's a kid's toy because most kids, you know, they would have something that looks like this. Oh, you, you color on it, and then how do you erase it? I don't know. Well, that's not what it is. Let me show you. Okay, let me show you over on eBay. So here it is. It's a bamboo CTH670, like I just said. This one right here, okay, this is uh, the sold listings. This one right here, okay, without a pen and battery, okay, this one does not have a pen, and it does not have the battery, okay? You can see right here, okay, no battery, okay? So it doesn't have that. But this one sold for $39.99 and $16.10 shipping. This one down here, excellent condition used, has a pen, looks like it has the cord as well. This one does have a cord, okay? It's just in the bag. Um, so this one, pre-owned, $16.50, $9.99 shipping. Like I said, I paid $2.99 for this thing, okay? So yes, I can turn this into an easy $10 profit, okay? By spending $2.99, it's that simple. So, you wanna create a full-time eBay business, right? Well, how do you do it? What I recommend is to start with products that you know. If it's this one, great. If it's cameras, okay, sell those. Maybe it's clothing or shoes or sporting goods or baseball cards or computers. It doesn't matter what it is. You can start really with anything. The biggest reason for a lot of people failing with eBay is not the fact that they don't know what they're doing. It's the simple fact that they're not consistent. You have to have consistency with actually sourcing the products, whether you buy them online, you buy them through a wholesaler, or you go and do retail arbitrage, buying them through stores, you know, thrift stores, retail stores, big box stores, okay? You can do this. But you have to be consistent with bringing your inventory in, listing it on eBay, and then shipping it off. If you're not consistent with either one of those three things, you are going to struggle, you're going to fail, and you're not going to be able to make the money you need to call it a full-time eBay business. All right. So one tip that I have for you guys, for anybody that's starting out with eBay, number one tip is to actually know what it is you're selling. If you sell computers, you need to know a computer inside and out. Okay, you know, what kind of, you know, CPU does it have? You need to understand what kind of software it's running. You need to understand if there's an issue with the computer. Maybe you're selling cameras. Okay, how many megapixels does it have? And is that good? Is that, is that a new camera? Is it used? Is it, you know, old? Does it have, you know, maybe there's a crack on the back? Stuff like that. You need to know your products inside and out. And if you don't, that's where you're going to mess up. That's where you're going to screw yourself over. Okay. This is one of the reasons why I sell electronics, because I absolutely love electronics. I buy these for myself all the time. I actually have one of these, okay? I actually have one of these exact same ones, okay? I hardly ever use it. I actually have a few bigger ones and a couple small ones. 
works great for editing pictures, uh, you know, doing different designs, doodling, stuff like that. And uh, I hardly ever use them, but I still keep them. I still buy them. I know what they're worth. Okay. That's me. I love electronics. Okay. Maybe you're into shoes. Go and buy shoes. Maybe you absolutely love shoes. You know every single shoe out there. You're a Jordan fanatic. Great. Go find Jordans. Go find real Jordans and flip those for money. Make some money. Make some profit. That's all you have to do. Okay. Then you take the money that you made, reinvest it back into more inventory. Instead of buying, you know, five items, you buy 40 items and you list all 40 of those. And hopefully you sell all 40 of them. If you do take all the product, all the profit that you just made, instead of buying 40 products, you buy, you know, 102 and you take all those 102 products and you list them on eBay and hopefully you say sell and you make money and you just keep doing this. Okay. It's a never ending cycle. Starting a full-time eBay business is not going to be a passive income. It's not going to be um, something that you can kind of just put off and you can make money every single day. It's an actual job. So yes, you're creating a side hustle. You're creating a business for yourself. But in a sense, you're also creating a job. So just understand, if you can be successful with this, if you can start a full-time eBay business and make money, consistent money, you can take that money and turn it into something else. Take it and start a, an Amazon business. Do drop shipping. Do something completely different that gives you a little bit more of your time back. Because that's one thing I noticed with eBay is, and this is one of the reasons why I've never been a, a huge fan of eBay, only because if you can consider eBay and Amazon FBA, Amazon FBA charges more, their fees are a lot higher, but at the same time, I ship all my inventory to Amazon and Amazon deals with every sale. They deal with every customer. They deal with all the shipping. eBay, every single item I sell, have to deal with the customer, have to do the shipping all myself. Okay. That's one of the reasons why I've never been a huge fan of eBay, but I absolutely love it for the beginners to start making some money. Like I said, this is a product that you can sell. Okay. I just wanted to show you this because something that I picked up for less than $3. Well, actually it was probably three, 24 325 something like that after taxes but these are things that you can buy every single day you just got to be on the lookout for it all right so i understand i didn't go through through this step by step and explain you need to buy this product sell it for this price and you start making this kind of money i didn't do that for a reason ebay is a huge platform you can sell just about anything and all you have to do is go and find those products so this is what i want you to do Okay, after you watch this video, go look in your closet, go look in your garage, go look underneath your bed, go look in your desk somewhere, okay, and find two products, two different items you can list on eBay and make five to ten dollars. Take those two products, list them on eBay, sell them, okay, hopefully they sell, sell them, and then take that money, reinvest it back in your business. And just keep doing that, okay? Keep going with that never-ending cycle because at some point, you will turn those two products into a full-time eBay business that you can actually live off of, right? So if you have any questions on how to start a full-time eBay business, let me know down in the comment section below. Like I said, there's a guide. The first link in the description box below will be a guide. It's a $10 guide, 40 profitable products every reseller should know. Go check it out. If you're not sure what to buy, if you're not sure what brands are selling, if you're not sure how to get going, go get that because it will help you out. But again, if you have any other questions, let me know. Ask them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Also, click that notification bell so you don't miss any more of my free videos. And I'll see you guys on the next one.